Ms. Lacey, if you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What are y'all doing? Should I do one of those like fancy thumbnails like everybody else does where they're like holding up their cleaning stuff? No, I shouldn't. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm not about to play around. That's going to take me forever if I do that. Let's go. I'm about to go all out in this kitchen it's really not that messy uh, it's been way way worse you know that if you've been here before so I'm just tidying up everything just so I can give everything a really good clean like it's been a minute since I have really really got in there and scrubbed stuff so what I'm doing is pouring some vinegar in a spray bottle and then I'm putting some Dawn dish soap and then gonna fill it up the rest of the way with water the funny thing is, is I was watching my friend Charity. I'll link her channel down below. I was watching her videos while I was cleaning and she was cleaning her bathtub with this at the same time I was making it. I was like, well, look at there. Felt like deja vu or something. But anyway, so yeah, I shake it up and I like to let it sit for a little while while the bubbles go away. But anyways, it's just vinegar and Dawn dish soap and water. It kind of stinks, but the smell goes away pretty fast. I mean, you know, vinegar stinks. But I will say it cleans really, really, really good. Definitely good to use if you're in a pinch and out of cleaning solution. I'm almost out of my favorite cleaning stuff. The flash one is the pink one that I've always showed in my videos lately. But I'm almost out of it and so I'm kind of savoring the last little bit. I've got a load of dishes going in the dishwasher, but I'm gonna hand wash these couple of dishes here because either they wouldn't fit in the dishwasher or the dishwasher was already going when we dirtied them up. So, yep, just gonna wash these last little couple here. Said some awful words And I know that we both got hurt But I wanna be with you I wanna be with you We can't let this slip away You know that I want you to stay Cause I wanna be with you I wanna be with you Don't run away We can't let this go to waste I don't want nobody else Don't let this go to waste I got these three cleaning brushes from a tool store we went to last week and they come in three different ones there's one that feels like a toothbrush the black one is kind of you know it's not very harsh feeling but the gold one and the silver one they're really rough and like I don't know abrasive I guess like you can really really get stuff up with those so I'm using the silver one and the gold one to do the sink I'm getting all the little nooks and crannies the places that you know really 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 never get clean I mean every once in a blue moon and it was time for it I really need to start doing this like once a month at least because that's just gross <laughs> Feels like we're fading out, I'm losing you Can't we try again, don't let this go to waste Feels like we're fading out, I'm losing you Oh, can't we try again Don't let this go to waste
wanna feel you close to me I hope that we can work it out Wanna feel you close to me Wanna feel you close to me Every moment tonight I always see people recommend using this barkeeper's friend for like your sink and stove and stuff like that. I have used this stuff one time before. I bought this a couple months ago and I hated it. It feels like wet concrete once you get it wet and I just, I, I don't see what it does, you know, that's any different than anything else I've ever used except for make wet concrete. So I decided to give it one more go. Instead of using water, this time I put some of the vinegar and dish soap spray on it and let it sit for a while and then came back and you know scrubbed and everything i really don't like it like it still felt like wet concrete i had to clean the sink off with water and a rag probably like five times once i got it all washed out because it just would not go away it leaves white powdery mess behind like even after you've wiped it up there's like weird powder. I don't know. I don't like it. I won't be using it again. <laughs> I know you don't wanna talk, but just pick up the phone. We could go for a walk. Talk about the things we know. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally. So I'm using the cleaner that I made earlier and one of the toothbrushes. Um, okay, it's not a toothbrush. Do not brush your teeth with that. You probably won't have any enamel left. But anyways, I'm getting in these little crevices, I hate that word, with these cleaning brushes. And you can see where like dirt has settled in the like cracks and everything. We have three dogs and they get dirty, they're filthy, they're wild and they come in shaking and all that stuff. So it's no surprise that dirt settles in little places that it can settle. So I realized that the plastic was still on the dishwasher panel. So I pulled that off and that's where dirt has been getting stuck at in between that and the actual like panel of the dishwasher. Dirt was like all stuck up in there. Y'all, look how nasty. There is so much grease caked up in that vent fan thingy. I don't know if it's a vent fan or what it really is. But anyways, all I know is it's filthy and I gotta clean it. So I'm using the toothbrush and the spray and I'm getting all in those little cracks. Oh gosh, y'all. I mean, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed. Almost. I'm not. Y'all know me. I'm not embarrassed, but almost. That's enough to almost embarrass me. Here's a spot that's easily forgotten about, easily missed, out of sight, out of mind type thing. Take those knobs off. It's nasty back there, I promise. Take those knobs off. vinegar and water in the microwave ordeal that I've seen everywhere it says you're supposed to put like two cups of vinegar in there and then two cups of water and put it in your microwave for like five minutes 
and then let it sit in there for like two to three minutes. I did that and I really don't think it worked really well. You can see um, in a minute whenever I get in there and start cleaning out the microwave, it just, I don't know, I had to keep spraying it and stuff. I don't think it, it, cut, it didn't cut it. Well, gross. All this spaghetti and ravioli splatters in there. That's nasty. Anyways, I'm cleaning it out, so that counts for something. found this little glass canister thing one day at a flea market. I love it. It looks super old. I don't know, something I feel like I would have seen in my Aunt Peggy's house or something. But I put my dishwashing packs in it, and I think it just adds a little bit of flair to the winder, if you know what I mean. If you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone. In a second, I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid This area here is one of my catch-all spots. Everything that doesn't have a place, like within immediate reach, goes right over there in that corner. Now you're always on my mind. You're on my mind. Turn around, hold me tight. Turn around and we will be all right. Don't you be afraid. Just follow me. You don't need no space. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end All the clutter on this fridge has been driving me insane. I don't even have any whiteboard markers for that whiteboard thing anymore. I never really even used it. So I needed to take that down. My aunt used to live in this trailer before we moved in here. And she put these little circle design thingies 
they're like a little vinyl sticker thing on the front of the fridge and so I'm just pulling those off because hopefully soon I'm gonna take off the vinyl that's on there now y'all we don't have a ghost that cabinet just always opens by itself it I need to get latches but anyways back to what I was talking about so the marbly looking pattern on the front of the fridge is actually vinyl too my aunt put that on there back when she lived here before we did so here soon I'm gonna be taking that off underneath that it's rusty like the fridge I don't know it got rust all over it the fridge is either from 1994 or 1996 but it still works you know the saying if it ain't broke then don't fix it so we're leaving it but I am gonna try and spot clean a couple of the rust spots on the side of the fridge and see if I can get them up easily I may keep that barkeeper's friend for that I don't know for some reason I feel like I've heard that that takes rust off I don't know I need to look into it but yeah, y'all let me know if y'all have any clue on how to get rust off the fridge. But anyways, what I'm going to do is pull that vinyl off if I can get any of the rust off on the side. And then I'll get the rust off on the doors too. So that'll be good. I know you can like paint appliances and stuff like that. But I just really don't know if I want to get into all that. I'd rather leave the vinyl on there if, if I had to go that route. I mean, it's fine for right now. Before. Here's another spot in the kitchen that has a catch-all. Mail goes up here. Anything that doesn't have a particular place, I don't know, tools, you name it, it's up there. It's been driving me crazy. I'm so glad that I finally got the time to declutter this area up here and just clean it up because huh, that stresses me out. It looks pretty bad. But I can't pretend no more.
could do it all with you by my side If you're in me, meet me here tonight Be brave and come along, I'll be alright Promise we don't need no brake lights We can travel the world, so just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next Fun fact about this paper towel roll holder. I'm not sure if I've shared this with y'all before, but Bubba was helping his stepdad tear down a house a while back, and it was actually a house that Sherman marched through. And I was able to get this paper towel roll holder. So it is extremely, extremely, extremely old, but I love it. I think it is adorable. Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the trail Catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or that that's gonna be it for today I did a lot like I was worn out so I'm really proud of myself for getting it done it looks so much better than it did I do have a lot more work to do like I said taking care of the rust on the fridge and stuff like that I also need to paint in here so I've got that coming up soon and then just some other deep cleaning like the stove and a little places that you don't think about like inside of cabinets and stuff like that i'm going to be deep cleaning and decluttering a lot more in the next few videos so y'all stay tuned for that i really hope y'all enjoyed this video and i hope i see y'all in the next one toodaloo you're all alone hold up hold up baby i can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different